Hello YouTube and welcome back to another qu quick tutorial. So, like I said last tutorial, um, in this one, what I want to do is when we kill any character, like that, and then we run, 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 run away, so blah, 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 if we get, say, 100 meters away, you know, I don't know, say this far away, probably won't be this bit, but it'll time, so after, I don't know, 20 minutes, it destroys it, probably not 20 minutes five minutes it'll destroy it then when we come back it's not there it's okay because then that time we've got a chance to jump somewhere else jump our stuff off if we've got too much because we're going to put a weight system on one day come back get more and take back again or it'll destroy it so really really helpful so what we're going to do is open up our enemy collision script here so let's see if the enemy's life is less than one destroy it Oh yeah, it's lowercase u, that's not needed. In fact, yes it is. So in here, we'll type, if enemy's life is less than 1, what we need to do is go back to our, where is it, uh, mission script, because that's got range detection on it. So we'll copy the range script, which is this here, and in the enemy collisions, in function update, if this enemy's life is less than 1, which it is, and it's performed the death animation, player, and then this object. If the player's distance is more than 10, less than 10, so this time we're going to change it to more than 100. So if it's more than 100 away, um, we need to create a private timer. So private var timer equals zero. No. Hmm. Milliseconds, milliseconds, say we'll say 5,000. So that should be five minutes at the top of my end, I'm not 100% sure. So time and money plus one. So, put this capital U else that might work. So I'll skim down. Is the enemy's life less than one? Click, click, click. Right, it's dead now. So, create the detection range thing using the magnitude. If the player's distance is more than 100, then start ticking a timer down. Tick, tick, tick. So if timer is less than one, so zero, then what we can do the reason I'm not explaining this is if you knew is because I've done this so many different times that everybody pretty much can write it off by art now so if time is less than one destroy this dot game object you could just put game object but I always like printing this I'm used to C sharp scripting so it's completely destroy the game object perfect yeah, it might leave a parent there, but we can fix that another time. So if it's more than a hundred away, then time tick down. But if it's else, so if it's under a hundred, then timer should equal five thousand again. What we're going to do is not set this to private because then we won't be able to see it. So let's see. So we have to set the life less than one. So we'll turn maximize off. So we'll kill this enemy. You could actually kill any enemy. So she's dead. Now let's slowly move away until the timer, which is decided not to show there, starts to destroy itself. Oh, hundreds is quite far away. minute now. Uh oh, we're bashing into trees now. There we go. So 100 meters away. It might be better off a bit further than 100. We'll set it to say 200 because that would be something along the lines. We just want it so you can't really see it anymore so we're not having things pop off the screen. So we'll just keep going and going and going and going. So we're back. 300 I'd say because 300 is quite far away so you won't be able to see it it'll just disappear so let's see if it does work by changing this to say 2000 which didn't work oh it destroyed it I must have sent it to 2 so it's completely gone now so that works perfectly you can do it to any enemy so we'll just start by wiping the entire race out So 
So he's dead. We've just got to kill everyone, see if we can abandon the village. That's not attached to the character, which we need to make it happen. So that works. So everyone's dead. Woohoo. But now what we need to do is run away and see if it destroys everyone. In fact, no, it will. We know it will, because that'll take too long. So we've done that, which works perfect. And what we'll do in the future is make it so it randomly spawns miscellaneous AI. But we're going to fix this first. So select that there, just so we can zoom in. So, for the civilian male, who's got the headband, it's there. But these, it is... Uh, wrong one. Surgeon. So they're in the same place, but yet one decides not to stick. So we'll stick the star headband into the headband, so it follows the actual head of it, and try again. Because the other one works, but this one doesn't. So I'm guessing it detects animation. Okay, so that really doesn't want to move. We'll try it inside the bit head and see if it likes to move now. Right, now that moves. Does this one move? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Because it'll move, but then not move for that one. Okay, some ones you might have to stick in the head, but yeah. So that works now, and um, we'll eventually make it so you can destroy the cars, because that'll be awesome. So, thank you for watching. Um, next tutorial, we'll add something cooler, maybe randomly spawned AI or something. Really, really easy and cool. So, see you next time.